I'm Chesney. I'm Lucy. And we are headed down south today to Little Mountain to go check out some wildlife. And um, to get there, you get off exit uh, 99 off Interstate 80, and then we're gonna head south on 191 about 50 miles, right, Lucy? Yeah, we're gonna take the Lower Sage Creek Road. There's tons of roads you can take to get up on Little Mountain, but that's the one we're gonna head on today. All right, so it's about 7 a.m., so we're gonna head out. About 20 minutes south on 191 South of Rock Springs, and we're going to go on Lower Sage Creek Road, also known as County Road 36, and we're heading up to Little Mountain. Top of that tree there is a red tail hawk it is right there We are at the top of Little Mountain and we are just watching some of the hawks and an eagle actually just flew by but I was not quick enough but it was huge. It was very cool to see. So what else have we seen out here? Well, while well, we're up 9,000 feet, we saw night hawks and antelope and deer and rabbits. We saw a coyote running by. Mm -hmm. Right That's now cool. we're looking into the gorge and Minnie's Gap and the Uinas. It's, it's just a gorgeous view up here. It's gorgeous and a very unique landscape I think for Sweetwater County because there's yeah. like the sagebrush so you've got like kind of the desert like look and then there's like a forest just right over there which we'll go check out in a second but um, yeah we traveled from the sagebrush up into the bitterbrush Mount Mahogany now we're up in the conifers and the beautiful aspen trees and that's where we keep seeing all the different species popping up their heads yeah all right you go ahead over there you all bet. right Sure, the, this is what makes Little Mountain great. We have so many different ecosystems, so many different habitat types, and with that comes the variety of wildlife that we get to see not too far, right in our own backyard. And in Chesney, we haven't even seen one other vehicle today, or no humans. No, no yeah. humans. It's just been us out here today. It's awesome. And what, we drove like 20 minutes to get off the road, off the highway, and yeah, we've just been enjoying and seeing all the different landscapes and craters and we really hope that people can serve this area, use it wisely so that, so that it is here for a long time to come. Yeah, it's a very popular conservation area. Um, they do lots of projects out here to kind of maintain the pop, um, wildlife populations out here. So it's a great place to maintain and it's a good place to come out and take pictures because there's a lot, but definitely important to take care of it. Yep. So we're already heading down the mountain and it's already 82 degrees. So we, we still saw plenty of wildlife. Sometimes you'll come up here and you won't see a lot of wildlife, but we saw quite a few species today. But we started off at 51 degrees and it's now 82 degrees. So we're pretty impressed. We still saw lots of critters. So that's a reminder to bring plenty of water because um, you're out in the middle of nowhere here. But uh, even if you don't see wildlife, there's plenty of roads to hike around on, walk around. 
and plenty of beautiful scenic views to see while you're up here, if the wildlife doesn't show up like they're supposed to. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, as I head up this big hill, I just want to talk a little bit about bringing an appropriate vehicle out here. I would highly suggest an all-wheel drive vehicle or a four-wheel drive vehicle with tight clearance. Um, the roads are a little steep and um, it is all like sandstone, clayey, so if it did start to rain, it would get slick out here. So it's definitely important to come prepared. Um, and speaking of preparedness, the cell phone service isn't great out here, depending on what carrier you have. So it's really important to tell someone where you're going, when you plan to return, and then also come prepared with water and snacks like Lucy had mentioned. All right, so we just made it back to the highway. It is 1124. So I would plan a good chunk of day if you're gonna head out here, maybe five, six hours, you can really get out and enjoy and explore. There's lots to see. Yeah, make sure you give yourself plenty of time. You don't want to rush. There's lots to see up here. So if you want to spend, you know, four, six, eight hours, whatever, maybe you want to camp. There's a lot of places to camp up here. Bring your mountain bikes, just walk around up here, and of course, see the wildlife. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for another Wildlife Wednesday. And I'm Chesney, and this is Lucy, and we'll see you next week.